Stand by for a start in the Gosford Gold Cup. Midas Mancain refusing to load and they're racing and uh, jumping well, Goldman off the inside, giving a bit of a dig in the ribs there, being sent forward, not usual, glorious, and now Sir Lucan building up the res wide out. Future history, a handy fourth. They're followed by He's a Shocker going into a forward roll. We've gone Churin going up the fence, double Cherry deep out. Carmagway taken back with Commander Bell, Estefani, and three lengths away to Verona. Favourite leads heading to the back, Goldman, out by a length. In second position, not usual, glorious, who drops the head down, and Sir Lucan third, just coursing a little bit deep. Gonchurin pushes her on the inside to improve its ground, followed then by future history. Two lengths to double Cherry on the outside of He's a Shocker has found a midfield spot, the fence. Two and a half into Carmaguay on the outside of Commander Bell. Last year's Gosford Cup winner Estefani is second last and two lengths away to Verona. So about 12 or 14 lengths covers the field and Regan Bayless has the favourite in the lead here, Goldman, out by a length and a half on a very relaxed, not usual glorious, the South Australian. It really thrives on these heavy tracks. Gonchurin third, the inside of Sir Lucan. And then came Future History, a length away. Further back to He's a Shocker, then Double Cherry. Two lengths to Commander Bell and Carmaguay. They go stride for stride. And the last two, Verona, ranging up on the outside of Estefani. So they've completed the back straight section and run to the bend now. And it's Goldman in front by three quarters to Not Usual Glorious. Sir Lucan covering ground in third. Then Gonchurin getting an economical run on the fence. A length clear from Future Future history. Then came He's a Shocker from Double Cherry. A gap to Carmaguay from Commander Bell Estefani. And Verona's got it all to do. 600 metres to go. Goldman is just the leader from Sir Luke and a not usual glorious. Has been given a wind up now in third and it's taking him a while to go on with it. Into the straight and it's Goldman and Sir Luke and uh, the two stable mates at it at the 400 metres and Sir Lucan's running a big race. Sir Lucan went past Goldman and with 300 metres to go Sir Lucan's opened up by three. He's a shocker's knuckling down, giving chase. Looks the only danger. 200 to go. Sir Lucan in front. He's a shocker. Is starting to rope it in a length away. Sir Lucan still in front. He's a shocker. Drawing level. Sir Lucan and he's a shocker. He's a shocker going home best. And he's a shocker. Knocked off Sir Lucan. And a gap back to double cherry third. Goldman weakened into fourth. A gap to Carmaguay. An even bigger gap to future history. Esther Finney. Gonchura, not usual glorious and tailed off Commander Bell and Verona. He's a shocker. Number nine, Chad Schofield, Mick Price and Mick Kent Jr. He's a shocker. Sitting back midfield, only had one to pick off, and that was Sir Luke, and he's done all the work on the speed. No cover. Shook off 